Hey YouTube, PlayStation Nation here, welcome to another unboxing. Um, today is Metro Redux for the Xbox One. I did intend to get it for the PS4, but I went into game and we're out of stock, they only had it for the Xbox One, so I thought I would get it. Because I read a review of it in PlayStation Magazine, it got like a 9, so I thought yeah that's pretty cool. And lots of people are playing it and saying it's really good, so I thought I would get it. I played Metro 2033 on Xbox 360 and I wasn't impressed, it just looked really dull and boring and it had bad weapons. I don't know what Metro Last Light is like. Hopefully it'll be okay. This goes with all the DLC. But it just seems very kinda old fashioned. I don't know if it's been good or not. Just looks really dull on the front. Back looks dull. It might be good. I don't know. I don't think it will be. Let's just break the seal. <laughs> the seal doesn't want to break. Yeah, it knows it's a bad game, so it's not letting me into it. It's trying to protect me. Well, it really doesn't want to come open. Well, that's the first time I've ever got a security seal off in one go. In one piece, I mean. Look at that. That's like, it's come up in one piece. It's a bit dodgy, really. So Metro Redux, open it up, and there's the disc, just one disc, just looks a bit dull. And there's an advert for Metro 2030, is that a board game? And it just looks dull, everything about it just seems really dull and boring. It might be okay, I don't know once we get into it. A brief guide to Metro 2033. It's based on a. Oh my god, they're based on books. This game is so dull. Okay, so that's my unboxing of Metro Redux. Thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and don't get too bored. Thank you. Bye.